Hi everyone, welcome back to Fishing Planet. Here we are, we're back at our favorite spot and I was just doing a bit of bass fishing this morning. Um, as you can see, it wasn't a great success this morning. I got two large ones, um, one a two pounder, which is quite nice. And I got about six or seven young, which uh, were about um, 0.7 of a pound to just over a pound. So I let them all go back because there's no point keeping them. Um, it's now gone 10 a.m. and if we have a look at the graph 10 a.m. is about here and the fish activity has now dwindled so we got in this lull during the middle of the day so I thought today we were going to do some let's get these catfish done so after 10 a.m. the catfish who have a, a big old lay in in the morning after about 10 o'clock will start to become a little bit active so we're switching to our number one rod we're going to have cheese we're going to use um, a chub, the chubby uh, float, and we're going to go for 96 centimeters depth, and we've got um, a mono line as well, which should be fine. It should be fine. That should be. Um, so, and what we're going to do? We're just going to um, plonk it in just about here, just on the side of the reeds. Hopefully, where they're just coming up in the morning, they should st just start to. Uh, wake up for the day, come out of their little muddy holes um, now that's actually twitching there so I don't know if whether or not the uh, the bait has hit the bottom and that's why the uh, the float is on the uh, on the on the whiff but it is twitching away might just reel that a little bit it's a bit of a slack in there actually it looks like something might be taking it. So I think we might have we have a snagged or yeah we just snagged on nothing. Okay, that wasn't a very good cast. Let's try that again. Let's plonk it about there. You don't have to go too far out. It's just got to be on the the edge of the river channel. There we go. That's a bit better. And patience. Now what's probably going to happen? That's going to drift out into the middle of the channel, the river, and start to float downstream, which is not ideal at all. That's one of those things, I don't seem to be able to catch catfish on camera, which is a bit weird. I say camera, you know, when I'm recording anyway. Oh, we've got a nibble. More of a nibble. Something's definitely nibbling the cheese, and I doubt it's a mouse. There we go, we got something. We got something. It's probably going to be a bluegill. It's a young channel catfish. Well, we were after a catfish, and we have our first catfish. Not what we wanted, so we'll put that one back in. But yes, the theory is good. Let's just have a little walk around the bank here. So we're just going to plonk it in around there. Hopefully it won't go... There we go. It's righted itself. That's good. Cheese is on the bottom. Wait for another catfish to have a nibble. So it's nice to actually have recorded catching catfish. Even if it is just a little one. Here we go, nibble straight away. Go on. No, went too early. Went too early. Never mind. Blush. So I'm using the good old chubby float because, you know, it sounded cool, so I thought I'd buy it. And uh, we're doing quite well, we've got quite a bit of cash. So, I'm going to concentrate on trying to get some catfish this time. Uh, and next video, I think we're going to go head over to New York and see if we can get some uh, some new types of fish. I think they've got pike over there, they've got perch over there. So it should be quite exciting. Trying to keep quiet on the riverbank. Don't want to scare away our fish. But you see, it's floating out into the middle of the channel. 
She's not ideal. Unfortunately, the weather is absolutely perfect here. It's pretty strange. It wouldn't buy a bit of overcast. A bit of overcast, and the fish will probably be active um, more frequently during the day. We got something. Yeah, we got something. Let him wear himself out. Look at that ripple on the water, isn't that beautiful? It's another young catfish, 1.6 pounds. But that just proves there are catfish in there. We just need a big one. Just a big one would be nice. Let's just go a little bit further over, shall we? Risk of getting snagged, but... We are actually catching catfish, which is the main thing. We also have some cut bait, which we could potentially use instead of the cheese. Oh, nibbles. See, they've started to become quite active now all of a sudden. No, I think that was the passing nibble. It's all gone quiet again. some of that slack. I know the uh, the chubby's twitching but that's because I'm reeling. Oh watching that float. Do something. Come on. Take a bite. No? Okay. Oh, the strike was done too early. Oh, literally as I was just about to quit it, it something nibbled. Isn't that typical? Right, let's try the, the, the cut bait and see if that has any any more joy. So let's let's plonk that back roughly about I'm not sure what that thing there is. Oh, it's one of the, it's the leaf off this. I thought it was like a log or something sticking out of the water. And I was thinking, we don't want to get anywhere near there. Wash. Wait for the float to come up. There we go. Some lovely cut bait. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All the little barbels on the catfish should be tingling with the little catfish senses. With the. Uh, the odours coming off this cut bait. Stirrings on the float? No, just the, the ripples of the river maybe. Oh, here we go. No, just a passing nibble. Maybe he'll come back. Patience is the game. Patience is the game. It's a bit of a trick for someone like me who's wants instant results. Oh. No, nope. yeah. It, when you're recording a video, you want to get instant results, really. Ideally, um, oh, go on. All these half nibbles. Oh, here we go. We got something. Ah, the strike timed out. Damn it.
say slightly shorter this time. Uh, people always recommend plus 90 centimeters drop for uh, catfish, but it's going to try 80 just because we're near near the, uh, the shallower sides of the river. See if that makes any difference at all. It probably will. We'll probably get bluegill. But we'll see. Got to experiment. Try and outwit the fish. If there is such a thing as outwitting fish. Become the fish. You are the fish. Definitely trembling. Got something. Ah, oh, too early. Too early. There was definitely something there. Okay. Let's try and get a better angle and see if we can go for about there. Okay, we've got something. Something's a bitten. Then go into the reeds. A 1.4 pound young channel catfish once again. Beautiful little fish, aren't they? With their little mustaches, the little barbell mustaches. Cute, cute as anything. Now oh, come on, we want a we want a big one before we go. One more go. Oh, we got a nibble. We got it. Okay, it's been a while. It's been very quiet on the old catfish front for um, quite a while actually. But we finally have another catch, and this one seems to be a fighter. It's a young 1.6. 1.6. It's not a bad weight for a young one, but um, yeah, it's a young one nonetheless. Um, so there we go. That is our catfish video um, we may come back and investigate this once more because I wouldn't mind catching a bigger catfish than that and lots of young as I have caught big ones in the past off camera uh, but we're only getting young ones today which is uh, it's, it, 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 it proves a point doesn't it let's, let's release that little baby um, we're currently out of bait so you know it proves a point the, uh, the catfish are biting um, we're just not having too much luck today, unfortunately. But, you know, our theory works. We're getting the weight and the depth right and the uh, the, the bait right. And um, it is a matter of um, placing the uh, the bait in the right area and at the right time of day. Say, so after 10 a.m. is best. As there are, they are late risers in the morning. A little bit like me. Well, I wish I was, but but yeah, we'll probably leave that here this time. Next time we're going to explore New York. We've got some exciting fish over at New York. Um, there's actually another um, spot further down the river on this river uh, and the muddy Mississippi River. That's not Mississippi, Missouri River, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, let's call this in for a a day. I think we've got all the fish we're going to get today. Brilliant. Uh, so here we are. Last songs of summer. This is the Mudwater River. Yes, we've got another bit down here which we could potentially um, look to get. Uh, trophy pumpkin seeds, juicy redfin picker uh, pickerel. Um, blah, 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 blah. Largemouth bass. Pickerel and white crappy. Okay. Other location. Do I want to leave location? No, I don't. I'll just finish off for the rest of the when we get this peak here and finish off so I, I actually earn my money back. So that's what we'll do. Um but yeah. There we go guys. We'll leave it there for today. That was our catfishing video. 
done. Yeah, we caught the catfish. Wasn't quite the size and the age we wanted, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. We finally caught a few catfish. It wasn't great how that stuck in the. Brilliant. Brilliant. Got that stuck. Fantastic. But I'll leave it there. Uh, next time, as I say, we'll head over to New York and see what they have to offer. I think we've got pike over there, so we might try and go a bit pike fishing. That should be quite exciting. Or, um,. Or maybe perch as well. That's all over at New York. So we'll go and check that out next time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. This has been the catfish video. Yeah, vaguely successful. But um, we'll leave it there for this time. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you next time.